With a big following, customers of Plum Market in Old Town are shocked. It's closing unexpectedly. The owner says it isn't by choice. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live with that story. Jenna. Jackie and Taban Plum Market has been here for about a decade. They've invested millions of dollars into this space, they say, because they wanted to be here for the long haul. But now what they're calling a low blow from a competitor is forcing them to close. On a leisurely Saturday afternoon, customers count a trip to Plum Market as entertainment. I love meeting my friends on Wells and then coming here for snacks. But behind the upscale nibbles and drinks, assistant store team leader Brad Boland says there's trouble. We're all in, in shock. We're completely blindsided by this. Halfway through Plum's 20 year lease, he says their landlord is taking advantage of an out clause. And all of a sudden, they terminated our lease and said somebody else is coming in. That somebody else is competitor Dom's Kitchen and Market from Mariano's founder, Bob Mariano. This space will become Dom's second location. We can't believe it. We're going to miss it so much. The Michigan-based Plum Team says the move casts a dark shadow on the independent grocery business, which they liken to a big family. We're in shock that a fellow grocer would, would do something like this. It's, it's, it's really not done. The CEO writing to customers, simply put, our landlord's decision to terminate our lease without even having the decency to reach out to us and Dom's decision to pursue our location are unconscionable, dishonorable, and disgusting. A spokeswoman for Dom says they were approached about the location's availability. A statement from her reads in part, we are surprised and disappointed to learn of this ill-founded interpretation of the move that we're making to the new Old Town location. As an independent grocer ourselves, we know all too well the challenges of operating in this competitive environment. Competition, Plum says, will now cost their 120 employees their jobs. Yeah. I feel so bad for all the workers, especially in the pandemic. That's a really tough time already, so I feel awful for all of them. I love this place. Uh, we love Chicago. Uh, we didn't want to go anywhere. And there is no immediate plan to open another Chicago location. This one will close in June. Management says in the meantime, they're going to work to find their employees new jobs. We have reached out to the property management company and have not heard back. We're live in Old Town tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.